Hey, how's it going? Well, as you may or may not know, Google Plus is no more, at least for consumers and brands. It's still going, apparently, for businesses, but I don't really know how that works. But, yeah, Google Plus for consumers and, and brands is over. And it, it saddens me a lot. I preferred it as my social media platform. The reason why is, okay, I'm going to give some examples of something. Okay, let's say you're at a party where everyone's wearing suits. There's smooth jazz playing. They're serving mixed drinks and they have a little umbrella and then the fruit on the, on the glass, that sort of thing. You're going to have very different conversations than if you were at a party where there's rock playing, everyone's dressed casually, some ripped clothes here and there and people are having sex on the couch. Okay, at that party, you're probably not going to have very intellectually stimulating discussions. You're probably not going to talk about philosophy. I mean, it could happen, but it's not nearly as likely. And if you try to, people may not be that receptive to it in that environment. Besides the music being loud, likely, right? And if you're at the party with a bunch of suits, uh, you're not very likely to have discussions about, oh, how you think this person is hot. Okay. Let's take politicians, for example. Politicians speaking to the public, the general public. They're going to say different things. They're going to talk about different things and talk about them differently than if they were in a meeting with a bunch of other lawmakers. It's not that they're lying. It's not that anyone is lying. You just have different types of conversations based on the group that you're around. Google Plus allowed for this sort of thing with circles. You didn't just add someone as a friend. You added them to a circle. You could create as many circles as you want. If you have someone circled, they don't have to circle you back. And if they don't circle you back, then the only posts you'll see of theirs are the ones that they post publicly. It's just a nice setup. Facebook doesn't really have that. I mean, you can create groups of friends, but it's, it's, it's a pain in the ass. And still, by default, you just friend someone and then have to create the, the groupings afterwards. But on Facebook, if you like someone's post, and their post is public, there's nothing you can do to stop that from being seen by all of your friends. You know, especially in the activity bar. On Google+, Plus, you could turn that kind of stuff off. They gave you the options. You could keep things a little more, a little more private, a little more sectioned off. Facebook, I mean, they just... The way that, that Facebook looks at privacy, it just, it, it's just... I mean, on Facebook, there's lots of posts that I don't click like on because I don't want it advertised to him like my straight friends. They don't need to see that I liked a post, uh, they, I liked this picture of this guy. They don't need to see that. So I don't. I, 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 you know, there's so much stuff I don't do on Facebook because I don't need that advertised to everyone. It's not that they would hate, they would hate me for it, but... Do they really need to see that in their feed? Do they need to see that in their act activity bar? And then in my case on Facebook, I have so many gay friends that are very extreme on their political views. If they just see that someone verges from their views, they'll just drop you as a friend. So that's another thing, you know. There's a lot of stuff I just don't talk about there because it's going to offend people. I don't go on... Uh, public groups to talk about politics. I just, I just stay out of it. There's a whole bunch of shit I just don't even, don't even talk about. I definitely don't go on like I do here on YouTube. YouTube is probably the place where I'm the most unfiltered, really. Anyway, I just don't like the way Facebook is that way. Google Plus, I thought, was far superior in that regard. That's the main reason why I liked Google Plus. 
They gave you control, the circles situation. It was just better in my opinion. But they did fuck it up in, what was it, 2015, when they forced the redesign on everyone. They made circle management a lot more difficult to manage. But it was still a decent platform. I wish Google would have actually listened to their users, though. But they didn't. They, they kind of doubled down on, on their stuff. And that's probably why it lost so many users. And then they're like, oh, well, you know, we don't know how to make uh, Google Plus what people want, so we're going to shut it down because people aren't using it anymore. Well, if you wouldn't have fucked up the interface, people would have still used it. But as you know, here, but here on YouTube, you know, Google doesn't really listen to its users. That's just how they are. So, But I'm very saddened by the demise of Google Plus. I thought it was far superior.